Hey everybody, it's Aaron, and welcome back to the House of Aaron. Hey guys, it's Aaron. Welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, hot topics, and politics. It is Monday, so you already know what's going on. We're talking about all things Real Housewives of Atlanta, and I'm super excited. So if you're excited, go ahead and press the like button. Comment down below. Let's have a conversation, and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's get started with the season 12, episode one review of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I have been waiting all year, okay? All year to November. Uh, for the show because everybody knows this is my favorite reality show ever and I've been talking about it um, for a couple of weeks now leading up to the premiere and we finally have made it. Season 12 episode 1 is named The More The Merrier because we all know Kenya Moore is back on the show and that's how the show started with Kenya Moore. She's waking up. She's playing with baby Brooklyn Daily. Brooklyn is so adorable. She just had uh, her first birthday yesterday so happy birthday to Brooklyn. You know Kenya Moore is a new mom and we are super excited about it she has been desperately okay desperately wanting to be a wife and a mother and she finally has it like everything has come full circle for kenya right out the gate we get into all the issues with mark daly and kenya moore and she expresses her feelings and she's like hey there's a strain on our relationship because there's a lot of distance there's not a lot of communication going on he's in new york building up his businesses building up his brand or whatever which i'm happy about but at the same time i imagined our life together with the baby under one roof so what's really going on mark um and there have just been a lot of rumors swarming around um about mark daily and i don't know what's true and what's not but i do know that there still may be hope for kenya and mark because she was on watch what happens live uh last night later on after the show um and she explained that she has not filed for divorce um they are just separated for right now so there is hope there is a chance that mark and kenya could work it out so it's going to be real interesting but it's great seeing Kenya um, just, you know, having her baby and being happy. Okay, so moving on to Portia, okay? Everybody knows Portia just had her baby, PJ. PJ is adorable. Portia and Kenya's storylines are kind of similar. They both have newborn babies. They're both new mothers. They both are engaged or married. And they're both having marital engagement issues, okay? So we see Portia waking up. She's holding PJ and she's talking to PJ. We see her mom come in and the mom is just trying to, you know, get some information like what's going on with Dennis. Everybody knows at the time where they started filming, uh, Dennis was in the blogs. Apparently he was cheating. Okay. There was this girl named Sincerely that he was cheating on Portia with. And on top of that, there's these crazy rumors that he's into bestiality, which is like, you know, having sex with animals or watching animals have sex. I, I don't really know the details of that fetish, but yeah, that's just the rumors. And the funny thing about it is when they brought up these rumors that were all over the blogs, guess who was on the TV screen? Okay, shout out to Tasha K. She made it on the first episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I was like, mm, okay, that's funny because we've been talking about her a lot here at the House of Aaron. So I thought it was funny that she just made an appearance on Real Housewives of Atlanta. So that was um, pretty hilarious. Um, I was watching the review uh, from Ashley Miller's and she was just like, why is Tasha K on here? <laughs> Like, she is like media takeout, the most non-credible having ass blogger on this uh, TV show. I think Tasha K was the one to really blow up the story with Dennis, okay? It was her exclusive. It was her breaking news. And I've said this over and over and over again. Tasha K is not perfect. She's not an angel. She is very flawed. And I do believe that she comes out with a lot of false information. It is revealed that Candy is officially going forward with the surrogate. Um, Dr. Jackie from Married to Medicine introduced Candy to the surrogate. So Candy is having a baby. Her baby is being carried by another woman. I think it's dope. I think it's incredible that Candy is sharing her journey. So congratulations. In the next scene, we also see Eva meet up with her husband, Mike, I believe his name is. Oh, I don't know his name. You know, Eva's pregnant, uh, which is awesome. And, you know, they're having a new baby. They want to move into their forever home. Uh, they don't want to be in another temporary place because we know the rumors last season when everybody was like, oh my God, Eva doesn't own her home and she doesn't own her car and she has bad credit. And I'm like, those are the most basic, like, lame rumors ever. Like, who started those rumors? That's like season one type. Those were the type of rumors that were salacious and juicy back in season one. If y'all trying to bring Eva down, you're going to have to come a little bit harder than that. But I'm just excited 
excited that everybody is, you know, having babies. Portia just had a baby. Kenya just had a baby. Eva's pregnant. Candy is pregnant via surrogate. Like, it's amazing. Not everybody's relationship is doing well, but Cynthia's is uh, because her and Mike, they're having a conversation. They're in the bedroom. He was like, why are you wearing that wig? Take that wig off. Cynthia was like, okay. And she went ahead and took that wig off. But then they started talking about, you know, engagement. Like, what's going to happen? Mike lives in L.A. for sports. Cynthia lives in Atlanta for the housewives and for her wine cellar and her modeling and all of that stuff. So it's just like, what are we going to do? Like, we don't need to have a situation like Kenya and Mark because they're separating because they didn't figure out this long distance stuff. You know, Mark is in New York. Kenya's in Atlanta. Cynthia is in a similar situation. And if Cynthia was smart, she would look at Kenya's situation and try to figure all of this stuff out before you tie the knot, okay? So you won't be in a situation where you're getting a divorce after two years and that's just lame. Who wants to get married, have a destination wedding, spend all this money on a dress and food and guests just to be divorced two years later, okay? If Kenya did have a big wedding and have it all over the show and stuff like that, I would be pissed off, bitch. Don't invite me to no wedding and you get in divorce next week, like... And that's just that on that. Okay, moving right along. Candy and Cynthia and Eva are at the OLG. Okay, now I love, la 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 love, OLG. OLG is, it's, it's, the food is good. I'm not going to even flex. And I need to go to the one down there at Camp Creek down the street. <laughs> I need to go. Oh my God, y'all, the mac and cheese, the fried chicken. It's just yum, 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 delicioso. I need to go back to OLG, okay? But while um, those three ladies are at OLG, guess who pops up, okay? We're doing pop-ups this season. It's Sincerely, the girl from the blog. So it's rumored that Dennis is cheating on Portia with this girl named Sincerely, okay? And according to DJ Richie Sky, this girl is a wannabe reality star, okay? She's been on Wags Atlanta. She's been on, I think that was on E! And then she's also been on The New Atlanta, which is on, uh, I think that was on Bravo, okay? So she's a wannabe reality star. So it's no surprise that she just popped up at OLG. Um, and apparently... Uh, Candy had no idea that she was going to pop up uh, at the restaurant. Candy, during the show, tweeted, she said, I promise that I had no idea that Sincerely was going to pop up and bring up that situation on the blogs. I was doing my best to stay out of the drama, okay? Because we know what happened last season when Candy got into Portia's business with Dennis, okay? Wrong road, bitch. Wrong road. Okay, so that was pretty interesting. So Sincerely showed up and she was like, hey, I don't know if y'all have been seeing what's on the internet, what's on the blogs, but they're saying that I'm the mistress, that uh, me and Dennis have been cheating on Portia together, and that's just not true. Um, the T is, the T is that I've never even met the man. So they like, great, okay? It ended up being great news, so good. Because we, I never, I don't think I ever believed that in the first place, but it is revealed later on in the episode that Dennis actually did cheat while Portia was carrying the baby. Um, hence why Portia is very depressed. And it's pretty sad. And even at the OLG restaurant, they were going over all the rumors like, do y'all believe this? Do y'all believe Dennis did coke? At this point in time, when it comes to drugs, you can't put nothing past anybody. At the same time, who really cares? Like, everybody, I'm not gonna say everybody dabbles in drugs, but it's not like a crazy thing that somebody's doing drugs. Like, it's hard out here for a pimp, okay? Sometimes you just gotta get high. But they were like, do y'all believe in the bestiality thing? And they were like, no, I don't believe in the bestiality. And then when Eva was asking Candy, do you believe in the cheating allegations? Candy was like, I'm just gonna have to sip on that and plead the fifth, okay? Because everybody believes that Dennis is a cheater. Um, and he is a cheater, okay? It's been confirmed by Portia. He did cheat while Portia was pregnant. So, during this episode, I was just like, damn, like, first off, where the hell is Tanya, okay? One of my faves on the show. Why did she not make it on the premiere episode? Where is Marlo? We need the messiness of Marlo. And mind you, this episode, it didn't have a ton of drama. It was a lot of emotional drama, okay? We were dealing with the emotional drama of Kenya and her man, Portia and her man, um, and stuff like that, and just getting caught up with everybody, uh, since last season. But we were definitely missing Tanya and Marlo, and then where the hell is Nene? Okay, 
where is Nene? Nene claims that she didn't get suspended, but it looks like she did because the bitch did not show up on episode one. Kenya had a baby party, okay? Now, when she was sitting down with Cynthia and they was talking about Nene and stuff, she was like, yeah, I'm gonna have a um a, a, a premiere party. And I was like, girl, you know you want to say sip and see, but you can't say sip and see because you know that's Phaedra's term. But basically, that's what she had was a sip and a see for baby Brooklyn Daily. So she had a Barbie party where everybody had to come dress up as Barbie. Candy and Ace was a uh, rock star Barbie and Ken. Portia was holiday Barbie. Eva was workout Barbie. Cynthia was thirsty bride Barbie because Cynthia is super duper thirsty to get married and it's embarrassing girl like girl simmer down okay personally i like will a little bit better he was just a little bit cuter but that's just me towards the end of the barbie party uh kenya and portia had to sit down now this is when it gets really interesting i'm just really excited and happy that kenya and portia have come to a place of understanding that hey like we don't need to be fighting like it takes portia's like it takes too much energy to be fighting with the same bitch for years like i'm not gonna do that especially when i got my situation with my fiance going on i'm a newborn you know i have a newborn so it was just like girl i'm not gonna be fighting with you so they have put their differences to the side and now they are cool so they're in a great place so i know a lot of the Kenya fans and a lot of the Porsche fans are going to be happy that they've come together to make amends and I think that is beautiful even though Portia. I would be looking at Kenya with one eye open because the bitch is sneaky, she's shady, and she's not to be trusted because Kenya is, she does things for the TV cameras. And let's not forget that she had that scepter and that bullhorn all up in your face, which made you snatch her in the first place. And then while they were having their private conversation, Kenya dropped that tea about sincerely dropping up at OLG. And I guess it was good tea, but Portia was not really that excited or happy or relieved that sincerely isn't the girl that Dennis uh, was cheating on her with because Dennis still cheated, okay? We don't know who it was with. We don't know exactly when we know it was during the nine months of pregnancy, but Dennis, okay? Let me just, Tyra Banks mode. We were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. And I love Dennis. He's one of my favorite house husbands or soon to be house husband. But you gotta get it together, dog. Like, for real, how do you cheat? Cheating on Portia is like cheating on Beyonce. Like, the bitch is beautiful. She has money. She has a great personality. Like, it just goes to show that men will just cheat on anything. They will cheat on you with a dog. And that's just that on that. That's just on a period. Dennis, we were cheering for you. We were rooting for you, but you're fucking up. And right now, you're in the doghouse, okay? So, I really hope that situation... Well, we already know that they're gonna get back together, but... So, that was the first episode of the show. We're gonna do the second a review next Monday. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. I am ready for the rest of the season. This episode was kind of like mellow. It was cool. You know, I'm ready for some drama. So I cannot wait um, for the next episode. And I wonder if Nene will be on there. If she's not, then we know that uh the bitch was suspended. Because there's no way. People are saying that she was still working on her contract. But I don't know. Hmm. But we'll see. Until next time, create a great day.